Hey my beauty family, this is Valiant Channel and in today's video I'll show you this very nice glamour nude look, total nude look, soft glam nude look my friend, which is very nice for all the year, the season, the time, for all your um, outfits and everywhere. So my friend, if you wanna know how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into this video. I have filled in my brows as usual with my Cyan Eyebrow Styler 11 Medium Brown. Then I have sculpted them up with my Ursa Concealer in the same fair. And I have prepared also my lips with the same concealer. And then I have set up uh, my concealer with my Kylie Girl 2 Color Powder Cake. And now I'm ready to move on to my shadows. In today's look, my friends, I will do for you a nude look, a soft glam nude look. I will use my 7 Cool uh, Matte and Metallic Eye Shadow, which is this, 01. It is a very nice nude color uh, palette, and I will start with that, which is a very nice medium brown color to do my crease this type of brush starting from the inner part of the lid of the inner corner to the outer part with circular motions back and forward with circular motions and on the under brow area on the outer corner I lift up the corner up a little up under the brow beautiful wearable very easy to do it Makeup, uh, makeup look. So, I uh, continue with another brown, which is darker, and this is it. A darkest brown with my Cosmo Fan number 110. I will do my outer corner. A little brown. This is a very beautiful look. A look that it is wearable, a nude look. The nude looks, I have to tell you, that you can wear them in all the seasons, all the weather, in all uh, the year, not only summer or another uh, season. Apply on the outer corner and on the outer, up, a little up under the brow bone area. And of course, the last step. It's another shimmery color, which is this light nude, light beige, with a very flat brush, like this is. On the inner part of the lid. As you see, it is a soft glam look, nude look, but very easy to do it. This look I wear many, many times in my real life, and in winter, and in uh, the summer, and everywhere, I have to say. When I want a hard solution, and I have in my mind many, many makeup looks. I really, many, many times, uh, going to do this look. Of course, taking my infallible palette, and I will take that champagne highlighter, because we have told that when we have a warm tone look, we need, in the same undertone, and the highlighter. When we have a cool tone look, we use the same undertone highlighter. On this part, I will use this champagne color under my brow bone area. The same I'm gonna use later on the inner lid. Let's have some coffee. I'm taking the other eye, the same color back and forward from the inner part of the lid, the inner part of the corner, to the outer part. The most basic colors for you, my friends, are the nude, the brown colors. The brown in all the ways, lighter, darkest, medium colors, nude, beige, champagne colors, matches to 100% all the skin and all the personalities because we have told that makeup is a personality theme and besides all of the other um, themes if you have a palette with nude colors you are inside we have to say 
taking the other color, the darkest brown, and I lift up, pull up a little um, up under the brow bone area. And of course, the last is the sun paint color we have taken the other eye to apply on the inner part of the lid. And of course, our highlighter on the underbrow bone area. In this look, you can leave it as it is, we have told that, but I want to apply and the liner, my classic black liner. My eyeliner is ready and now I'm moving on to the last thing. Taking my last curler, I will wear the false last, as I have told you, before I will apply my black mascara, as I always do. I will apply my Vortex mascara. The lashes I'm gonna use are they. They are thin and long. I'm applying my mascara. I will leave my mascara to get dry and then I will have my false lashes. My lashes are ready. Move, moving on to the rest of the makeup look. Fit me Maybelline Luminous and Smooth Hydrating Primer. Very nice, uh, luminous, smooth, hydrating, moisturizing for me. Primer before the foundation because I have a dry skin. My foundation for today, Golden Rose, High Definition, 115 Golden Base. I will mix it with a little by Cyan, Pure Fin Foundation Natural Sand. The one is very matte, the other is a little more, I have to say, luminous and smooth. I'm taking my Kabuki brush, applying both of them. To tell you the truth, I apply matte foundation with my Kabuki brush and then I'm taking my beauty blender. I will start with Kabuki brush, continue to blend very, very well nicely with Kabuki, with a, a beauty blender. The next step is my concealer and instant anti age eraser, multi use concealer, zero weight buff, the classic Maybelline concealer on the inner part of the lid, on the outer corner, on the bridge of the nose, on the mustache area, and on the thin area. We apply much of the product so we can work it well. Always with the Beauty Blender, I work the product. I don't work it with brushes. Then I will take my MUA Bront in the shade Espresso. This is my uh, cream bronzer. Starting from the upper part of the ear till the cheekbone. This is the right technique and to the other point, some dot on the forehead, on the lines of the lips, and some product on the chin. And of course, a little on the nose. This I'm gonna apply always with my beauty blender. It is the right way to apply it, the most easy way. We apply it with quick motions and up, up on the thick bones, lift up. After that, I will take my Mon Reef Tinted Cheek, which is my 04 Liquid Blast, and with that type of brush, I will apply some of that 
if you don't want, you don't apply this product, go with powdery. I apply some of that because the liquid, uh, as I have seen and I have told you, the liquid products give you, especially the liquid blush, a touch of healthiness. Just a little of that. Look how healthy and pink is my cheek. It's like I have a wake right now. Of course, over that, I will apply my Mon Rev liquid highlighter. This I'm gonna apply a little with my middle finger on the cheekbone, on the nose, and on the cupid bow. And I will continue to apply the product with my beauty blender. Just a few coffee while I work because I need it. I will take my MUA professional powder and I will apply some. I will do a mini bake on the under brow of bottom eye area. Some. Near the nose, as you see. Under the area of contouring, this is a technique in which we clean up more the areas and we have more photogenic um, face for photos, Instagram, and very, very nice look on the chin and on between the brows, on the forehead. The most product will leave it. Under the eye area near the nose. We leave it about two or three minutes. My skin is dry, so I leave it about it. If you have the time and you are a very oily person, leave it about one quarter, 15 minutes. It's good for you. This is the technique. Now I'm going to take my wet and wild contouring palette and I will take my contouring with my eyebrow 11. I'm applying that on the same points I have applied previous the liquid cream product. And of course on the nose. I start from the inner part of the brow, as you see here, and I put down a straight line. This is the contouring of the nose. And I pull it down. And here, on the, this part of the nose, and some line onto the nose, this is the contouring palette. I'm going to take off the excess. I will apply in some of my MUA bronzer onto the same point. I will dust off all the excess of the uh, uh, powder. We don't need much because, as I have told you, I have a dry skin. If you have a very oily skin, leave it, leave it. As on the time you can leave it, and to a 20 minutes and 15 minutes. Taking my highlighter, which is a very nice pink highlighter, continue to apply over. 
the thick bone my highlighter I will apply some on the bridge of the nose and on the lowest point between the brows and on the cupids and on the cheeks a little of that going to end up with my under eye area I will apply the same colors I have applied onto the eyes the darkest brown On the inner part, my thumb paint color. And inside, I will apply a brown um, pencil on the waterline. And of course, a line of mascara on the bottom eyes, we apply only a coat of mascara, not matte. On the upper lashes, we have applied our mascara before we have wear the false lashes, not onto the false lashes, because we ruin the lashes, the false lashes, and in this way, we can keep them more time. And of course, after that, my lips. Usa's Cosmetic Pencil. This is a very nice deep brown liner. Inside, I will apply a lightest brown pencil inside the deepest. A nude brown classic lipstick and inside that lipstick I will apply another which is very very nude very very nude I'm gonna apply it over the other taking off this from my hair and of course the last step, the fixing spray. The fixing spray is an important step. We have told that. Important step so we can keep our makeup look for the whole day. My friends, this is my complete finished look for you. It is a nude look. A nude look you can wear everywhere and I have to say in all the seasons. And matches to 100% of you person, skins and personalities. So my friends, if you like that video, give it some thumbs up, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and ring the notification bell, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Love you friends!